April 7th. It's the kitten's seventh day in the home. They're getting a new bed today because they're getting very mobile. So I want to give them a new bed in a bigger box so Mama, Princess Jane, can jump in and out, but the babies aren't going to be able to climb out yet because even though they don't walk that well yet, they're like little climbers. They scurry and wiggle and so forth. I want to cut the lid pieces off because I don't want those in the way. They all have their eyes open now. And we'll show you that in a minute. They are so flippin' cute. I can't get over how cute they are. The kittens have never been on the bed before, but I'm gonna spread a towel and put them up here while I change out their box. And the frugal babies are going to guard them to make sure they don't wiggle in the wrong direction anywhere. If they wiggle like over there or like towards here, can we like pick them up gently and put them in? Put them back in the middle, exactly. Here they come. Just let them be there doing their little kitten things. I'm going to bring Princess Jane up because I don't think she knows where I just put her babies. They're right there. See, everybody's fine. So we're going to put the big box here, which will have lots of space for the kittens. But the kittens won't be able to jump out. Princess Jane will. I thought, okay, well, we'll put a towel in the big box. But then I thought, no, they deserve a My Little Pony blanket. So that's what they're going to get. There you go, nice soft My Little Pony blanket for them. They seem to be doing pretty well up there. One of them seems to have wiggled up into <laughs> Neve's arms. And Autumn is guarding Pumpkin. She was going really close to the edge. Oh, I know. You rescued her from the edge. All right, see, here's the little gray guy. His eyes were the first to open. They're squeaking a lot. They want to go back in their box with their mama. Here's our smallest little cutie. Her eyes open second. I think she's a girl. I know some of you who know a lot about cats know that their gender kind of matches their coloring, and I forget what's what. I think the calico means girl. Plus, it's the smallest, right? Oh, God. You're so cute, I can't stand it. All right, go over there. Pumpkin's the biggest. His eyes are open, too. All right, there. Now... Even though their eyes are open, they really can't see well at all. They won't be able to see well for quite a while, and their hearing isn't great yet. So they feel each other, and they smell each other, and they feel happy and comfortable when they're right oh, right next to each other. It keeps them warm, and they feel safe, and they just love it. Let's bring Princess Jane up again just so she can see what's going on, and then we'll put everybody in their new bed. Princess Jane really wants to get out of this room and explore the house. But that's not going to happen for a while because it's a big house and there are other animals and I want her to stay safe and calm and near the babies. She has gotten out a couple of times when the door has been opened a little too long and she really hasn't gone far. She wandered towards the bathroom. She went into my older daughter's bedroom, and I was afraid she was going to hide under the bed, but she was just laying there on the floor, and I just picked her up and brought her back. All right, now they're going to get to explore their new bed. Okay, there you go. Nice and gently. Put her right, put them right next to each other. All right, put her back gently. All right. Let's put them right next to each other. Not that they can't find each other, but just so they feel secure there. And we'll put Princess Jane in the box, too, so now she knows. Here's your new box. There are the babies. 